Hey guys, I'm Jerome D'Ambrosio, I race for Dragon Racing. Today we're going to be speaking about braking. Welcome to Race School. So ABS is a system that prevents you from locking wheels during the braking. And why we don't have it in Formula E, it's because it's more challenging for the driver and thus is making the show more interesting for the spectators. So why do we lock wheels when we're braking? Is because we're trying to brake as late as possible, thus braking harder as possible. And at one point, the tires don't have enough grip to sustain that. And this is why at one point, you lock the wheels. So there are different consequences in locking a tire. The first one can be simply crashing out of the road and the second one could be flat spotting the tire. So what happens at that point is that you get a flat spot on the tire, the car starts to shake and vibrate and makes the life of the driver very difficult. Sometimes if you have such a big one, you have to come in the box and change tires. So what you have to do when you're starting to lock up a tire is you have to start releasing the brake pressure by sequence and reapplying it so that you're practically doing what the ABS does for you in a normal road car, but you're doing it manually. When people think about racing, they think about going fast in the corner and oh, applying, oh, you can apply the, the throttle as, as, as early as you can and so on. But the single most and biggest challenge for a driver is the braking phase and the braking zone. To manage that at the, at the best, you find reference points on the track, such as the 50 meter board you see here behind, to make sure that every lap you will brake roughly in the same place. And, uh, and if you're gonna make an adjustment, you're gonna be able to make an adjustment of about two, three meters, which is a challenge when you're traveling at 200 kilometers per hour. So the technique of braking with a single seater, uh, what you have to understand is that there are, there is a lot of downforce on the car. So when you come at 200 kilometers per hour, you hit the brake pedal very hard. But then as you lower the speed, you will lose a little bit more downforce, you will lose grip. So it's all about finding how quickly and, and, and how late you can keep the brakes on uh, without locking the, the front tires. To overtake someone, you have different techniques that you can apply in terms of braking. During the braking zone, releasing a little bit the brakes, trying to get that little extra speed and overtake the guy. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little bit more about braking. And if you have any other questions, please drop your comments below. See you next time.